What's going on gamers? We're in the tundra today with the battle droid army assaulting the clone trooper trenches. This is probably the largest uh, trench assault we've ever had on the channel. We had a pretty w large one on actually the Geonosis version of this map not too long ago, but this is actually Darth Bacon revamped it to be a snow version of the same map, which I think is really a good idea to just revamp a same map uh, to just be totally different um, in terms of color and texture and things like that. So I think it's pretty cool what he did. Um, but either way, in that uh, last Geonosis one, we had a pretty large battle, but this one I think takes the cake. We have just so many clone trooper defenders probably like 400 clone trooper defenders and then in terms of attackers we probably have like 500 droids but the big thing is they have like seven tri droids seven aats and a super tank so they are packing a mean punch here not to mention two mortars in the trenches for themselves here going up against the clones um it, it's gonna be an unreal battle this is a massive massive battle probably the largest trench battle we've ever had in men of war assault squad 2 either way guys without further ado we'll get into this video if you guys wouldn't mind just hitting that like button for me it helps me out tremendously subscribe if you have not already and comment on down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Either way guys, without further ado, let's get into the rest of this video. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, boys, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Going in slow-mo for the start here. I did think about doing another uh, Boba Fett video for today. However, I decided to take a little break. Last uh, last time we did like three Boba Fett videos three days in a row, which I think was a bit much. Um, People seem to really enjoy it, but I think going further than that is just too many Boba Fett uploads um, for the channel. Um, but maybe this weekend I'll do one. I'm just really hyped about the book of Boba Fett, to be completely honest. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know about you guys, but the book of Boba Fett has been something that I have uh, found to be really, really good storytelling. Really, really interesting dynamics between the characters. I am seriously loving the book of Boba Fett currently. Um, I, I did do a uh, review of it on my podcast, the Daily Tactics Star Wars podcast, if you want to go check it out. Uploads are to Daily Thoughts for that if you have YouTube. It's also on Spotify, iTunes, and stuff like that. But that's not the point. Uh, enough of me plugging my podcast. Um, I, yeah, I did a little review of it, and, I, you know, I think it's great. You know, I have really nothing but good things to say about Book of Boba Fett right now. There's a few things that I would change, and I, I think there are a few... Uh, places that I change the story, especially the storytelling styles, I would switch up maybe a little bit. But all in all, I think it's fantastic. But there's so much hate out there right now for the Book of Boba Fett, and I'm so confused where it's coming from. Straight up, a lot of the hate is literally just people saying, like, he's too old and, and stuff like that, which is like, of course he is. He was alive during the Clone Wars. Like, people age. It, it doesn't mean they can't, you know, have interesting character arcs and uh, character arcs and things like that. I mean, they're gearing his character arc towards him being older and wiser, and they're doing a great job of it. You know, this isn't some young running gun bounty hunter like he used to be. He's wiser. He thinks more about his actions and is very deliberate. And I think it's they're they're playing the character out perfectly. Um, not only that, the other criticisms criticisms I've been seeing are people going on and on about like, oh, they missed one CGI monster in the Geonosis arena. It's like, that's not a real criticism. That's a, a, a tiny production mistake. Um, like, it, it's not worthy of saying this show is terrible. Like, literally, you're seeing people saying this show is god awful because of one little CGI mistake. Like, are you kidding me? Come on, people. Grow up a little bit. This is just ridiculous. I must say, I, I'm very disappointed in the Star Wars community. And I am one of the fastest people to say, like, 
this is trash, this is garbage, you know? Sometimes I'm even a little too quick to do, to the draw with that. Like, I still don't like The Last Jedi very much. I still don't like The Rise of Skywalker. I think those were just kind of bad movies. They didn't make that much sense. They didn't feel like Star Wars all that much. Like, they were not great movies. I And I am, you know, I get backlash for saying that sometimes, but I'm still gonna say it because it's my opinion. If you like it, that's great. But like, The Book of Boba Fett, man, I don't get where this hate is coming from. Like, yeah, it's fine if you don't like it, but like, have a real reason for not liking it. Or be honest with yourself that it's just like, you know, you just liked Boba Fett's armor back in the day and you didn't really need him to be characterized or anything like that. I think that's one of the beauties of Boba Fett is the fact that he had barely any speaking lines in the original Star Wars. He was just a cool looking character design. And, and that's it. There was just so much mystery around Boba Fett, and I think that's why people loved his character so much. And if you don't like the fact that he's getting his own show, that's perfectly fine. I think that's a valid reason. But instead, people are like, they want a show, but they don't know what they want in the show. So instead, they're just like, oh, yeah, man, this show sucks. They did Boba Fett dirty, when in fact, like... This is like the most we've ever learned about Boba Fett, and it sounds like you just wanted it to stay a mystery, but you don't know that you wanted it to stay a mystery. You know what I'm saying? Either way, it's just unfounded. It's just silliness. I don't know what's going on. Back to the battle here. We've got the clone trooper army getting kind of shredded right now in the front lines. They're doing a good job of taking out a number of droids, um, but still, the incoming droid fire is a lot to deal with right now, especially from those tri-droids. The second line of clone trooper defense seems to be holding up okay, though, uh, but the front line is definitely in a world of pain at this moment. Most of these guys getting heavily suppressed. The droids coming right up to the clone lines here. This is going to be a rough and long battle for these clone troopers. Ooh, nice little mortar shot right there. That's the beauty of this map is it's perfect for mortars. There are a number of mortars in the back. I think there's four in total on this battlefield and they are just rounding out fire against the battle droid army. We got a Chinese food box right here as well, as well as some boba tea next to it. The clones are having a, having a yummy time on this battlefield, lobbing mortars at the droidy boys. They're actually destroying a lot of their tank traps with the mortars though, so it's gonna allow this tri-droid to eventually come a little bit farther forward because of the gap in that fence right there. So it might not be the best of things right there to necessarily take out those tank traps with mortar fire, but it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. All right, let's go bump it up a speed now, see how that ends up doing on this battle. Two clones remain at the back left of this first trench. Again, just sort of droid cleanup of the front lines here at this point. Uh, they've sort of wiped out most of the clone resistance over here, and they just need to take out the last few of those boys. But the second line of clone defense is still looking extraordinarily strong. In fact, I don't really see any clones dead here. There's one right there. Yeah, very, very few dead clones. There's another right there. Maybe three or four in total. Oh, someone scrapped that gun right there. Okay. Um, but yeah, the second line looking very, very strong. Looking like a beefcakey line that's going to hold out. It's chonking, baby. It's going to make it happen. All right, the droids over here moving on forward currently. More mortar shells coming on in. Those mortars are being extra devastating towards these droids on this day. Are the droid mortars still alive? Ooh, an AAT exploding over here. And I think it just blew up their own mortar. That's not especially helpful, and this mortar over here also down for the count, and I think this AAT ran it over. So not exactly super duper helpful there. I wonder, has this thing fired? No, it has not fired its missile volley yet. Or maybe it did and it missed? I'm not entirely sure, but the super tank not exactly doing a whole awful lot for the battle droid army here. The droid army in this instance is really heavily, uh, you know, oh, there it goes. There she blows, yep, and it does take out a number of clone troopers. Oh, even a mortar in the back. It took out one of the clone mortars right there. That's not good. Okay, yeah, the droids are highly, uh, you know, needing their, um, I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. What I'm trying to say is the droids need their tanks to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> they need their tanks to kind of come in clutch for them during this battle in order to overtake the uh, trench defense that is going on right now for the clone trooper army but their tanks are kind of struggling in doing so. This is the first time we've really seen some good tank action from the droids through the super tank. The rest of them are just not especially impressive in the slightest. Um, so if that super tank can do a little bit more with its volleys, I think the droids do stand a good chance here. Um, but other than that, the droid infantry is getting kind of walloped here in this battle. Let's go into full speed now. 
full speed ahead here, baby. Um, we have a few more tri droids coming forward. We have a few more battle droid infantry troopers coming forward. The battle droids are probably down about half of their infantry defenses. The clones, probably a third, since really only the uh, front line is dead. The second line starting to take increased losses, but still holding in there pretty nicely. There's an AAT off to the right over here. This bazooka uh, clone trooper could take it out. He takes one shot, appears to hit it. Not enough to quite penetrate that armor just yet. Let's see, second shot, another hit. Usually it's like four or five shots to actually kill these droid AAT. So it could be a little bit more time before this happens. Clone right there gets struck in the head and goes down dead. And, all right, what is that, shot number four? This is a beefy AAT right here. Uh-oh, he's starting to get hit by it too. Uh, no, he went for the droid instead of the AAT. What are you doing, man? You need to use that rocket. No, he's now shooting for other AATs and missing. Focus on the one AAT at a time, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, my lord. No, he's completely distracted now, hitting other stuff. All right, Super Tank fires another volley over this way at the clones. Um, does end up striking a number of them back here. Not a, not a super direct hit from that thing, but still pretty bad. I'm invested in this clone right now. Now he's shooting the Super Tank. Sh focus on one shoot one at a time please oh super tank does a weird bounce right there and saves itself from toppling over however this clone is uh, funneling a lot of shots right on into that thing all right at least he's focused firing now but he could have taken out that other aat i feel like at this point in time but instead now he's focusing too much on the super tank which has just such heavy armor take out one tank at a time buddy boy Oh, it's tough out here. It is tough out here. All right, do we have any droid infantry really entering in? We have a few droids. A couple of droids actually entering into the uh, bunkers now. Uh, still a lot of them sort of hanging out on the outside here, firing down into the bunkers. A number of clones putting up some resistance. This guy's got two boxes of Chinese food. The clones clearly went and uh, ordered out for this battle, and now the droids want to go and acquire the sacred Chinese food that the clones have. The clones refuse to tell the droids where their Chinese food comes from and the droids want to be able to order from that same restaurant that the clones do all right this rocketeer did end up dying without taking out a single AAT no he did take out one yes oh thank goodness my man didn't die in vain his efforts have been rewarded with one AAT kill right there beautifully done beautifully done lad uh we got more tri droids moving on forward or trying to they're kind of getting stuck on those tank traps right there it's it's tough for them to walk through those little gaps the aats though pretty far forward and the droid infantry moving through the trenches now and uh really advancing on the clone troopers in the second trench line most of the second trench line is down now i would say yeah the vast majority there's a few clones managing to hold out in various forward positions especially on the right side the right side's actually doing okay for the clones over here but the middle and then i think the left side is also pretty broken up yeah the left side's pretty toasted um so i'd say the clones only have about a third of their force left basically anyone in the very back line here and the very back line is actually still very very strong um th yeah they're going very strong here they got a lot of troopers left in the back line but still only about a third of their force is left alive on the battlefield still got a mortar here that one's dead and i think they've got some on the left flank too there's those two mortars still alive too okay so there's quite a number of mortars left alive Droid infantry beginning to push in. The super tank is getting itself wedged into this trench as well. Oh, the droid vehicles, man. Always so derpy, dude. Always so derpy. A little bit of light skirmishing here on the left side as these droids begin to fire into the trenches against the clones here. Utilizing the trench wall as cover. Uh, mortar managing to pelt them with some pretty good fire right there. One of the droids just gets knocked out for a second, though, and manages to bounce back real quick there, buddy boy. And uh, these guys appear to go quite quiet here on this battlefield for a little bit here um tri droids still scattering some good fire especially down mid here i think they really want to kill this one clone who's chilling right there uh we got some droid infantry pushing through this way and coming out the other side and this clone defense in the way 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 back here is starting to get activated against these droids and starting to combat their presence i'm gonna take a little sip of the bean juice mm. being a hyper homie drinking some kofefe love to see it love it love it love it if i were to do a bean review for today um i would give i actually had two cups of coffee today i'd give my first cup a probably like a six out of ten 
Um, very meh. Uh, and then my second cup, like a 7 out of 10. A little bit better. Not a huge improvement, but hey, it's something. You know, they got to take what they can get here. All right, this battle seems to be winding down a little bit. I think a lot of the droid infantry is dead or not assaulting too much. Yeah, look at all these dead droids over here. Um, and what's really still remaining for the droid army is their vehicles. However, obviously the vehicles can't really cross through the trench system here. Uh, and they're just kind of getting locked out. And they can really only fire so far away um, to the point where they're, they're struggling at this point. The, the droids are definitely struggling a little bit to actually um, push further in. Their forces... Uh, while still existent and probably able to hold the current territory they have, not able to push past that current territory to capture the last little bits here. Last little bits here doing pretty spicy, pretty well here. They're nice. Um, either way, why don't we go into fast motion here for just a little bit and check out what ends up going down. Uh, yeah, these droids really don't have much purpose, it seems, and these clones are sort of wiping them out as they try and come forward. Not to mention the mortars are still doing some good uh, peppering of the droid lines here. It's it's really a lot of vehicles left alive, and they're just not able to push. So this might end up being more of a draw than anything. I, I mean, because the, the droids are still very powerful. They still have a large number of vehicles, so if the clones tried to push back, They'd probably get wiped out, but the droids can't push forward because they don't have enough troopers to do a manual infantry push forward. So I think we are going to be looking at a bit of a draw here, which, uh, you know, n neither side could really do anything without getting some sort of reinforcements up here uh, to take them out. The clones needing vehicle reinforcements and the droids needing a whole lot of infantry reinforcements to manage to actually do this thing here. Truly, truly a, uh, a draw a bow, draw a bow situation. Yeah, the droids have like almost no infantry left. They just have a lot of tanks. So I think this, this is a draw. I think we are looking at a draw right now. The last few droids over here, like four or five of them, there's no way they're going to be able to take out the last like hundred clones left alive. And they are dying here. There's like 10 droids left alive and a whole lot of droid tanks just stuck in the back. So we're going to call this a draw. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with that outcome or who do you think really won this battle. I would say the clones definitely have a slight edge since if the droids did manage to come forward, their rocket troopers would probably take them out. Um, so I think the clones probably leaning towards the side of victory here, not to mention they managed to defend. <gasps> Snowman! Uh, but the uh, droids, you know, they still are pretty powerful and the clones wouldn't be able to retake this trench without heavy, heavy, heavy losses. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below any battles you want to see in the future. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.